Hey guys, welcome back to Sevenfold Farm. Today, we're going to be um, using Regal in our video today. Um, if you guys haven't watched our CMD video yet, you should go back and watch that one. But this is Regal, our male Colorado Mountain Dog. And long story short, we let him out Thursday night because he's always in with the goats and chickens. And so Thursday night, we felt kind of bad for him. And we let them out every once in a while to go out on the perimeter of our property and just keep anything at bay and just do their thing and have a little bit more freedom than in the few acres that the goats and chickens are in. So we did that Thursday night and Friday morning we came out and he was limping on his front right leg and so we took him to the vet and she did kind of an assessment over him and looked him over and thinks that there might be some nerve damage maybe and that maybe he got hit by a car going down to the road which he wasn't supposed to do. So we, he's doing fine, he's not in any pain, but the right here on his ankle is just limp. He has no control over it, and just it just dangles. He has control over the top part of his leg, because he can lift it up and down in his shoulder, but in his bottom half, kind of around his paw, he has no control over it and doesn't really seem to have much feeling. So what we're going to be doing today is just some movement and trying to wake those nerves back up. Okay, so we're gonna get Regal to kind of lay down. Ready? Ready? Oh, big guy. Okay. Okay, I got him to lay down. Now I'm just gonna try and kind of get him to lay over on his side. Come on, Bubba. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good boy. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do range of motion. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and almost as though he'd be running. And just kind of move that and massage that. Try and see if it won't wake up those nerves. Stretch his toes out as though he would be using his leg as normal. And the point of this is just like I said, to wake the nerves up because it's been a couple days now, four days now, since whatever happened to him, we don't know really. And it seems to be getting a little bit better. There's not a lot of swelling. Um, we've been getting it, giving him an anti-inflammatory pill twice a day. So there's not a ton of swelling and he doesn't seem to be in pain, which is key, but we wanna wake those nerves up. We're keeping him enclosed a little bit so he doesn't have much freedom to run so that he doesn't end up hurting himself too much more but there's enough room here that he can stretch his leg and walk. And the weird thing is with it is that he can post his leg and he can put weight on it, but he just can't move it. It's like all signals from the brain to the bottom of his foot have been cut off. So that's what we're trying to do is wake him up. So we want your all's prayers for him, that's for sure. Please keep Regal in your prayers. Um, okay guys, so this isn't really about oh. Regal, but these two chickens, uh, that one's name is Tomato, oh. that one's name is Little Smokey. Oh. They were actually two of our meat birds that we decided to keep, that we decided to not butcher, but to keep for laying hens. Oh. And you can just see how healthy their feet are. They don't have any like mites in their feet. Their combs are pretty red. Um, like a just gorgeous red, um, nice and fluffy, and they look really healthy. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please be sure and keep Regal in your prayers and um, keep praying that his leg will get some feeling back in it and that it won't keep staying numb. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and have a blessed day, guys. See you later.